Okay, today we're going to go over some of the upgrades I did to my Ruger SR9C. I had some light primer strike issues and my guide rod assembly. Can you see there how it's bending up and ewing? Well, that's a plastic piece. So I'll show you how I remedied that. Now I'm not going to go over the breakdown of the weapon because I assume that if you're going to delve this far into it you should know how to break down the weapon. So once you get the slide to this point the first thing I will show you is guide rod assembly. Stainless steel. It's all stainless steel. This is the old one. It is plastic. As you can see when it was in there, it was viewing up. It just couldn't take the pressure anymore. Uh, by the way, everything I got was from Galloway Precision. I'll leave a link in the description below. And a new one comes all together. You just pop the new one in. As you can see it's stainless steel now, not the cheap black plastic. So that's the first thing. Uh, I did replace it with, it's a 16 pound spring. The next thing was I had light primer strikes. So I got an, a heavier striker spring. I don't know if you can see in there it comes with a new pin as well. A stainless steel striker shaft because the one that's in there now is plastic. If you put the heavier spring on, the plastic shaft can't take the pressure and it uses bends and distorts. So if you decide to get the heavier spring, get the stainless steel shaft. Next thing you gotta do is take the striker cover off, this black cover here. You're going to need something like this. I use a pick. The old ones, if you have an older style, it actually has a hole right here that you can insert something in and depress the spring. The newer style does not. You have to go in close to the bottom and depress push that spring in. There's a spring in there. See that? Push that in. Depress. Give it a slide. Get it started. And it just pops right out. Now the striker blocker. And the magazine disconnect. That lets your slight striker come back and you just pull the whole striker assembly out. Now be careful this is on a little spring your magazine disconnect so it might fly out. So what you're going to need to do is there's a little pin right there that you have to take out. I just took an old piece of 2x4, drilled a hole in it to catch the pin, just kind of made a channel for this thing to set in since it's round and you got to beat this pin out. If you have a better way, by all means, have at it. This is the way I did it. There. There you have the cup, the rod, 
and the spring. Get the cup off the plastic rod. Cheap plastic rod, see it will not hold up to anything. New stainless steel. There's the hole for the pin. You get a new pin with the new spring. It is a 20% heavier spring. Put the cup on the new shaft. New spring. Now the tricky part is sliding it in and getting that hole to line up with this hole. The easiest way is to get the pin started just in there enough for you to insert this. So again, start the pin, line up the hole, slide it in, and then press the pin into place. So now you have your new striker, new striker shaft, have your spring, lube up your, lube up your striker, you had to depress Your mag release, slide your striker in past the mag release. And a striker blocker. Now to put the striker cover back on. It's slotted, but you just start it. Stainless steel guide rod assembly in. Now you have your stainless steel indicator instead of the old black one. And it's not plastic. There you have it. Get rid of these plastic parts. Upgrade with stainless steel. Have your striker spring. Takes care of the light primer strikes. Gives you a nice indicator you can see a lot better. And that's how I upgraded my Ruger SR9C.